I want to pull up this story from the Daily Mail. Bruce Willis sells rights to permit right. deep fake digital twin of himself to be created to, for use on screen, allowing him to come out of retirement after aphasia diagnosis. What? No, he's what? not coming out of retirement. This is just the beginning of what, what, what should we call this? We need an era. The deep fake era. Scanner darkly era. Scanner yeah, darkly yeah. era. Look, we were just talking about how what? they you're not going to know what's real. Yeah, They're, they'll, they'll deep fake a video of, you know, Trump or something. And then people are just going to believe it. I was on Rogan's show. Uh, it was, I think it was last year. And he asked me, he's like, are you worried about the deep fake stuff? And I was like, nah, I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about that because, you know, people, you're, they're going to know where Trump is. They're going to know where, you know, whoever the president is, they're going to know where they're at and when they're speaking. Now that I'm looking at it, and I think I deeply underestimated the abilities of deep fake technology. Yeah. And this is just the beginning. A video will go viral and it will be of president, you know, one, two, three, whoever. And they'll say something that won't sound too crazy, but will be worrying. Mm -hmm. They'll say something like, this, this, this is what you need to watch out for. You'll get a video of a president saying, we need to focus on our tax reduction plan. And all they'll do is change reduction to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, incremental. Something very simple to shift support away from the person. They'll say something like, it is true we're offering a 1% income tax reduction. And then they take that video and deep fake increase. And then they send that out. It goes viral. This is when, when I hear them say stuff like, you know, we have to be concerned about missing disinformation. Hey, they're not wrong. That just send to Ardern being like, people will use misinformation. I'm like, they will. The problem is it's primarily been coming from government and major corporations. So my fear is not the random dude in his living room who somehow gets access to a deep fake generator or a, like a good one because people can actually get these consumer grade ones. My concern is government or military grade technology that can generate deep fakes. And then one day you're an anti-war activist. You're, you're say a Julian Assange. And then all of a sudden a video gets leaked, which is indistinguishable from, from, from any other normal video of you saying something believable, but reputation damaging. And you come out and say, that's a deep fake. And people are going to be like, oh, get out of here, conspiracy theorist. And then the media can run the video. And when you threaten to sue, they'll say, but your honor, we have a video of him saying it. And the judge is going to be like, can you prove it's fake? And they're going to go, how do you prove it's fake? It's a deep fake. And they're like, yeah. either prove it's a deep fake or it stands. That's the world we're entering. And, and you know what? I got to tell you, we're there already. Yeah. We are there now. This story about Bruce Willis, this is entertainment. I've heard that people, that government organizations will like put files on people's computer and then go get their, you, oh, you got oh, child yeah. porn on your computer there and then they a, bust who, somebody who that? for it. Who was they that? Do so that. They do that with deep yes. fakes too. They call, as government mean to control the mind? I mean, meant is like, meant is, meant is, is mind. Govern, the, the, the root of the word is to direct or control. It's a Rome, it's a Latin term. It's just mind control. I mean, that's the <laughs> essence of government is controlling yeah. people's thoughts. Well, and, and it must be noted that the, that Jefferson, the, the quote on the inside of the Jefferson Memorial is, I declare eternal hostility against any form of tyranny over the mind of man, mm. and that they were wanting to tear it down in 2020. Interesting. That's wow. all, I, you know. Wow, and man. We, we also have to understand that this technology also is developing at such a very fast rate. This is what's public. What is not public? What don't we know about? And personally, from my own speculations and my own kind of thinking about this, if you could deep fake actors and, and certain videos, you could probably deep fake individuals. You could probably deep fake uh, influencers. You could mm -hmm. probably deep fake entire social media accounts to pretend to be somebody pushing an agenda that, of course, is going to be making videos, is going to having, uh, you know, the, the selfies, is going to be, of course, broadcasting about everything, but everything's going to be user, computer, AI generated to push a certain idea to emotionally manipulate you in a certain way that benefits a multinational corporation or a private entity and interest that of course have an in, that 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 want to manipulate you for their own personal causes who's going to be doing that very powerful people the corp the, the billionaires the multinational corporations the government the secret societies the intelligence agencies all of the people now saying hey you having free speech is bad we need to control all of it which is an absurd idea and 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 what ian is saying is, is, is not too far away from the reality. It is trauma-based mind control that a lot of people are going through, are unaware of it. And this is one of the main ways that they, they use to control people is with emotions. And now AI generated content creators, I think that's something that we should be looking out for. Ian yeah. is 100% correct. 
ment, the, uh, that's the suffix, comes from the uh, Latin mente, meaning Mentis, mind. Yeah, mental. Mm -hmm. And then govern is to steer, drive, or control. Oh, right. good to know. There you go. So blatant. And it doesn't have steer to be the, the people mind. we're paying taxes to. That's not, doesn't mean that's the current government of the day. Who's the current government of the day? Google. Alphabet. Yes. They're controlling yes. what we see, yeah. hear, and think. Mm -hmm. I mean, not directly, but indirectly. Well, I think directly. I mean, they're, you, you they're, can they're still throwing it right in. at you. You at can opt point. in, but not really. I mean, go 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 down the street. I, I was at a water park just uh, just not too long ago in the middle of Oklahoma, and I went up and I was like, "Hey, I need some quarters." They were like, "We're cashless. We, we, we don't accept cash." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And in order to do that, then, well, okay, well, I've got a phone. I don't have my card. You know, maybe it's in the locker or whatever. You have to opt into the technology to be a part of society now. So I, I, I think it's absolutely direct and it's pervasive and it's becoming more and more pervasive in not just the AI way or not just the deep fake way, but in the everyday I, I've got to feed my family, you know, go to school kind of way that everyone deals with. And that's that's the real danger of this is that it's it's a part of everyday life. So it's actually Greek before uh, Latin. Uh, Kuberman and Gubermer, the, the Greek word Kuberman, this is what Google says for etymology, was to steer. And then in Latin became Gubermer, which meant to steer and rule, which led to old French governor, which was probably just pronounced to govern. And then they added ment of the mind, so to steer and control the mind. Fascinating. Yeah. There you go. You, you learn, you, 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 what, is, what is it? You, you learn something yeah. every no, day. Yeah. No, no, no. The more you know. The military certainly yeah. is used to control your mind because it's the threat of force that gets you to pay your taxes and things like that mm -hmm. with government. Um, but it's not, that's not really the go Man, it's like a usurpation of global governance happened in the last 20 years. And, and I'm, you know, we're waking up to it. The now. liberal international economy, my friend. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was stripped by corporate, by alphabet. Like they, without us realizing it, they just took control of the narrative. You guys mm -hmm. have it. What are you going to do with it, man? It's, it's amorphous, you know. Yeah. Uh, there was a point where AOL was the dominant digital force, but it wasn't that powerful because the Internet wasn't that powerful. And then AOL still exists. But I mean, who talks about them? Yahoo still exists. But mm -hmm. come on. Alphabet is insane. Alphabet's and like 11 Matthew. companies or something. Yeah. It's, it's like BlackRock. It's the corporation. Yeah. It's like, just welcome to the sci-fi dystopia where the corporation. And they're like, yeah, that's why they call it Alphabet. They're making fun of like uh, NBC and CBS and ABC. They're like, yeah, all CIA, the letters. CIA, CIA FBI. FBI. They're like, we're all of them, man. We are the Alphabet. Yeah. That's sure. wild. That's creepy. That's, that's one form of government is Alphabet. Uh, but you have to wonder if that's true and they're as powerful as we, as, as, as many fear. Why would they allow this show? Mm. Is it because there's us. nothing we well, can do to stop it? Well, no, maybe, but I think it's also that inadvertently we hit points, all of us do, in the, because we actually think we hit points that they like at certain points. And they think, okay, well, at this point, we're going to allow it up to this point because they're still giving us what we want, even though we don't like most of what they're saying. And because we're free thinking people, right? But at a certain point, you get to an Alex Jones or you get to a, you know, uh, another person like that or even James Lindsay being taken off Twitter. I'm, the moment you hit it the, too much, they take you down. You I'm, know? I'm telling you, you got to get chickens. You'd really understand this, right? So we have, I think, 30 chickens outside and they're all doing their chicken thing and it's fine. But we had a couple, a couple roosters in there. And then when they start acting up, they get removed and sent to Cocktown, the penal colony, where all the ro rooster boys penal go. Penal colony. Penal oh, colony, yeah, because they're always fighting. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. They're always fighting. <laughs> and so, so the point is, I don't care what the chickens do at all. They can fight, eat, bang, whatever. But when they step too far with mm -hmm. it, they get removed. So my view is maybe a show like this, they view similarly like, yeah, 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 they're all in their coop doing their stupid thing. It's not, it's, it, it doesn't matter to us. We don't care. But Alex Jones, on the other hand, he was that loud, obnoxious rooster that wouldn't stop screaming. Right. And finally, they were like, okay, now, now this rooster is causing me problem. I'm having a meeting, and it's screaming and squawking. And, it's, and now my, my, the, the guy that I'm trying to sell to, he leaves. So they say, okay, we're taking him out, and we're putting him in the penal colony. Right. Once you, you will know when you've stepped out of line. Well, and, th and that has happened even to a smaller, you know, I'm a, I've got 20,000 20, Twitter followers, but I'm working with a, with a group, a, a guy named Alvin Louis of Courage is a Habit. It's a great name, great organization. Go look for it. But um, he, uh, we, we just under, uncovered this, this kind of scandalous videos uh, from 
the ASCA, which is the American School Coral, uh, American School Counselors Association, and within what is it, 17 hours, we all, both of us got uh, banned uh, from Twitter, from YouTube, from from Amazon, and from Google, and it was like we're nobody. You know, I mean, you, you guys have hundreds of thousands of but views, that's why. but we hit something. And then the next day, the next day, a video comes from the Federal Department of Education just praising school counselors. It was amazing. I'd never seen anything like it. The, the, and, the, the, the censorship targets the smaller accounts yeah. because they don't make a ripple when they're banned. That's true. So they're pulling out, you know, look, you get a big, thick hair and you yank it out of someone's head. It hurts. Mm -hmm. But you got a little peach fuzz here. You can pop them out. People don't feel anything. That's basically what this is. They know that if they ban bigger channels, it creates ripples and it amplifies at least temporarily and may, you know, what, what is saying? You get a, you got a roach, you step on it and the eggs go flying everywhere yeah. or something like that. That's what they want to avoid. So they go for the smaller, they, they, they're going for the grassroots. They're cutting the roots at the core to eliminate the support. If you're banned from YouTube or Twitter as a small follower, mm -hmm. then it's a lot harder for you to follow along, interact with, and support the person who is speaking. That's that's Twitter's strategy. Well, and that's it's happening on YouTube too. I mean, I'm right now. I am more shadow banned on Twitter than I've ever been, uh, and and it's because of the fight that we're having in Oklahoma about these these hospitals and the trans issue, and it just got a little too close to home, and it's amazing to me to see it because I just thought, oh, I'm small. You know, I, I've got a decent following for the area, but I'm small, but you're right. They come after you because if they get us, you know, it, it, and you have no grassroots, you all can talk all you want uh, in, the, in these bigger platforms, but it's, it's the grassroots that really makes the, the bottom up change. And so, I don't know. I don't know what yep. we do about that. We we have to start doing something. Well, we need to police ourselves from the bottom up. I think the corporation alphabet's got, it's, it's balancing the heaviest hammer ever noticed by humanity, essentially like intellectual hammer. And and they have 12, the, some of these, I'm gonna read off some of their companies. Calico is human health company, over overcome aging. Capital G's private equity. Deep Mind does artificial intelligence. Google. Google does internet services. Google Fiber is its own company. Uh, GV is a venture capital company. Intrinsic does robotic software. Isomorphic Labs does drug discovery. <laughs> Verily is a human health company. Uh, Waymo is autonomous driving. Wing does drone-based delivery. And X Development is research and dev for Moonshot. They're taking us to space. Uh, these technologies in the hands of a private company are very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. If the pri but proprietary what code What's gets the alternative? open sourcing the code so that we at least know how to counteract drones when they mount machine guns on them and start hacking them and flying them over, you know, uh, cities and, and suburbs. And but but like in a detrimental way that's negative or illegal or amoral and ethical. Uh, what, do you, what do you mean is... Like, anything that could happen drones themselves i mean you've seen banned. terminator 2 the guy didn't know he was building the terminator while he was building it it's proprietary if when this when you guys you're listening right now the owners you guys at alphabet when you sell the company the next guy that gets that code has control of the world you gotta free that stuff. also a lot of people who worked on the nuclear bomb didn't know that they were working on the nuclear bomb yeah. Yeah. a lot of the scientists also regretted it there's also a lot of cases of the scientists who worked on it committing suicide because of the guilt that they felt building this but but to go along with the point that started this conversation if if resistance resistance was futile they wouldn't need to censor us and they are censoring us and there are a lot of underhanded things that we still don't even know about that happen on youtube on twitter on google on Facebook, on, on MailChimp, ev almost everywhere online, there are small underhanded things happening that are not as blatant, that are not as big as censorship. And I think what we're seeing here is is kind of like the boiling of the frog analogy. Slowly and surely they're pushing for this, but they know that they can't move too quickly because their whole agenda and their whole game will be uncovered because it's essentially the truth that will expose it all. And that's what they're afraid of. It, sous vide, is that what it's called? Yeah, the eggs. Sous vide? No, it's the, the, the vacuum slow cook in warm yeah, water. Yeah. Oh, I've yes. I've the eggs version. Oh, okay. Like Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys know what that is. Eggs, yeah. You, oh, like, you vacuum seal, sous vide, you vacuum seal the meat and then you put it in the warm water for like 20 hours and then it makes it like really tender or whatever. Hmm. That's great. what's happening. That's yeah. what's happening to the human we're not, race. We're not even boiling. Let me tell you guys a story. Really gentle. I was once playing World of Warcraft on my laptop and I had it on my lap. This was 18. Oh my oh man, this got to be. Gosh. How old was I? I was 20. I think I know maybe. where this is going. Where is it going? Oh, it's about singeing leg hairs. So no, the hairs no, ever no, grow no, back? No, no. Frying your eggs. It's worse. <laughs> yeah. Tell me more. So I'm sitting Indian style. So it's being held up by my thighs on my left and my, and my right. And I'm sitting in bed and um, you know, I was playing. My laptop got really hot. When I took the laptop off, my left leg itched and I scratched it and pulled skin right off. 
the computer was hot, but only slowly. Oh, and it no. burned me, blistered, and I didn't notice because wow. it happened so slowly. When I put the laptop on my, on, on, when I was sitting with my laptop, it was cold. After playing for a couple hours, it was really, really hot and constantly on my skin. Jeez. And I didn't feel any pain. Well, and it was a small blister that I ended up, I, I itched and pulled it right off. Well, and, and part of that was too, your mind was so focused on yep. something else. So it just removed all the sensation from the other parts of your body and all the blood rushing to that, that neuro, you know, the, the, the dopamine and stuff you're getting from the game. It, it removes feeling oh. from the rest of your body. And it you know deep fries I mean? your balls. And many yeah. doctors are saying that yeah. it, it actually has a very bad impact on yeah, on, pe on males' sperm sperm counts. So when Video people games, are heavily focused on entertainment, laptops on their, uh, they're yeah. desensitized. Yeah. You think they become desensitized. Well, because when you're focused on something that isn't real, and it makes, the, you know, it makes the, it makes the real less real. Faraday cage underwear. Yes. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. Nailed it. Protect your balls. <laughs> Protect your butt. Protect Seriously, you're going You need it now with all the with all the you know warfare against the balls. I have a. How do we um, do it? How do we do it? Faraday cage uh, fanny pack. Put oh, my phone really? in there when I walk around. Yeah, it doesn't irradiate my nuts. Ooh, cool. I, I like it. I have a Faraday cage like pouch that my dad sent me because he's like, you're paranoid too. Here's a Faraday cage for your phone. I, I like, should Perfect. get one of these. You we should. We should, yeah. we should call that company. Yeah. We should call the company and say, can you make underwear? They, they, you know they, they should can. sponsor my... my there you go. Uh, and we can make the underwear uh, clothing in general. It, wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it, it doesn't work because... Um, it has to be clothes. So I'll give you an example. The tinfoil hat thing uh -huh. actually has the inverse effect. It amplifies mm -hmm. yeah. because the signals can still enter from underneath through your body. Now water does block a lot so of this stuff. You need stuff. a one-way mirror. You need a full Faraday suit, mm. so it can block every part. So if you want to walk around, one of the, you ever see those Faraday suits? Yeah. They're really cool. Yeah. If you want to walk around in that, I guess. Or when it can get out, but it can't get in, so it'll sneak in the corners and then can get work its way back out, bounce we out. Should, we should just build out. We should build a triple layer Faraday cage just to do it and film it and like. We should do one big one, a small one, and then in, inside the. So there's there's a big one you can walk in, then an, another one inside that, and then there's a box. And so we can see at what point the cell phone stops. We were working. actually mm. planning on building that. Where do you want to do it? We got understand. Okay. You think we should start construction soon? Let's do it before it's too cold. Yeah. We could probably whip yeah. that up pretty quick. And then, I mean, in, in, in reality, we'd probably want to put it indoors somewhere. Yeah, for sure. Because then we could store stuff in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah. Microwave your Faraday cages, basically. So the old prepper trick is to is to put a microwave like in deep storage and put a phone and a laptop in it, but mm -hmm. it's like unplugged, obviously. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think that freeing, telling Alphabet corporate execs to free the code is, is sensical enough. I know you guys think like, come on, Ian. That's like, that's just such a hitting it with a sledgehammer, I know. You can't just give it, give it all away. It's not, but at some point, I mean, if you are trying to hold on to this power, it's gonna, obliterate your hand and then it's gonna consume us like we can't no no sector group of us can do this alone only only beings of extraordinary strength could wield such power i mean mm. if if somebody were to hold this then powerful bursts of purple energy light would emit yeah. from their hand and then they would scream and explode and it would just be damaging everybody it might just be but a group defense. of a group of people that are close and friends could hold each other's hands and temporarily contain that power just enough to defeat Ronan. Oh, I'm gonna start doing a meditation, <laughs> a group meditation. If you guys wanna join me at 2 p.m. tomorrow, uh, I'll be meditating. Uh, I'll be doing it for at least five minutes. And if you wanna jump in right at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I think that the power of good needs to organize. What are you gonna focus on? Nothing, empty mind and let it happen. And it, you can meditate as there long as you want. There are some very interesting studies about big well, meditation prayer. groups focusing on one thing and helping um, actually bring those things forward. Well, that, that's the scientific case for prayer. Yes. You yeah. know what I mean? The, the, and yeah, prayer, seen, meditation the, has the, a prayer, lot of power. I mean, the, the, it's, yeah. When you focus, you know, and you can have whatever. You focus know, on your intention. Yeah, you yes, need, you focus need on your intention people. or just focus towards a result. But if you do it from the, the, the standpoint of God or, or wherever you do it, it obviously hasn't. This play. might backfire I know. giving no, 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 Ian the on, idea. Look at his eyes. No, 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 hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. We, we want to make sure that everybody who's listening who does do the group meditation with Ian, that they have the intention of something good and noble. Yes. So I think tomorrow at 2 p.m., when everyone begins to meditate, they should all focus on aliens coming to Earth. No. 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 No, 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 no but hold on. You need They're going to look sure. at us. They're like, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden are your leaders of the free world. We're taking oh, over. Yeah, get, I, it, out, get I, it out of here. Make sure you do, denote time zone. Yeah, okay. two PM. This world is a prank. Time. It's a joke on all of life in the universe. We got to get rid of it. I encourage focus on whatever you want. I trust you. We, I think it's going to work itself out as long as we're all working on this together. No, 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 no. Don't listen to him. Everyone, focus on Ian getting ripped. Yeah, there you Ooh. go. 
Don't make me get ripped. And finally working out, <laughs> I'll get, I'm getting ripped. I'm going to yeah. start working out, and yeah. right after the meditation, I'll be like, so yeah. inspired. <laughs> Something just overtakes Ian's body, yeah. and he gets up and is like, what's happening? I'm walking to the gym. No, I'm we, picking up the weights. We, tr <laughs> we tried this in 2007 on stickem.com, but the, the software wasn't good enough to get more than like 15 of us in a chat room, and the software crashed when we had like 40 or 80 people in there trying to meditate. I don't think we need to need to be in the same room in the vicinity, you know, with this high frequency frequency long-range communication of video chat but we can we will do that later tomorrow is going to be you and yourself thanks for checking out this segment from the timcast irl podcast but if you want to check out the full show live tune in monday through friday at 8 p.m and if you want more special access content head over to timcast.com and become a member your membership helps sustain this company keep our journalists employed makes this show happen and you will get access to exclusive members only segments of the Timcast IRL podcast. And there's a massive library to check out. So again, go to Timcast.com or tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And we'll see you all there.